guys, welcome back to Near Nirvana. Today's pursuit to paradise takes us to Moon Palace in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Moon Palace, Jamaica is an all-inclusive beachfront resort featuring upscale accommodations, gourmet dining, a dolphin park, a surf simulator and water slide, arcade gaming lounge, world-class entertainment, and state-of-the-art spa and fitness facilities. Upon entry, there is an open lobby for check-in featuring very high ceilings and a beautiful design. And as you can see, lots of lounging and seating options and an absolutely gorgeous bar to get the party started as soon as you arrive. I really love the chic and modern design of this bar. And also before you go any further, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button. Thank you and I appreciate it. <laughs> Just on the other side is the main check-in area. I really love the tree design as the lights. It definitely stands out and elevates the space. Absolutely stunning entry and our check-in process was very fast and easy. There are also two private lounges for Palace VIP and Elite members to check in as well as concierge services for all guests. Next up, I'll show you guys three different room accommodations, the Presidential Suite, the Governor Suite, and the Standard Ocean View Suite. First up, we have the Presidential Suite, which features two bedrooms. Upon arrival, there is a living area with a TV and seating area, and then right off the balcony, breathtaking penthouse views. just gorgeous it doesn't get better than this right off the living room is a very nice dining area followed by the primary suite this room features a king bed tv sitting area another oversized balcony and an ensuite bathroom absolutely beautiful views up here And the views continue into the bathroom, which has a soaking tub, walk-in shower, and double sinks. The second bedroom has two queen beds and an ensuite bathroom. And as you can see, there are unobstructed ocean views from every room in the presidential suite. Next up, we have the governor's suite. So this suite also has an open living area featuring a TV, a seating area, and beautiful ocean views. Then to the left, there is also a dining space and a bar. The bedroom has a king bed, TV, sitting area, an oversized balcony, and a beautiful ensuite bathroom. Lastly, we have the Ocean View Suite. By the way, as you can see here, the armband doubles as the room key, which I definitely loved. So this Ocean View Suite features a king bed, TV, sitting room, and an ensuite bathroom. We were greeted with wine and champagne upon arrival. A diffuser was also included with the room, which I thought was a very nice touch, along with a coffee machine, teas, a fully stocked fridge, and even more alcohol. <laughs> As you can see, the ensuite bathroom is designed beautifully and features chi toiletries. The closet was definitely small but included essentials like an iron, safe and blow dryer. I should also point out that there is no balcony even though this is an ocean view suite which was very disappointing. But as you can see, the views are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the sunset. <laughs> wow. From here, we're able to see the ocean, pool, and resort views. Here we have the main pool area featuring a swim up bar as you can see right here. There is also a waterfall feature and a bridge. There are also lots of loungers and umbrellas and a jacuzzi. I 
I thought this view back here was absolutely breathtaking. From the water to the mountains in the background, the lush greenery, I mean, stunning. Just beside we have the Flowrider Surf Simulator which is super fun and entertaining. I tried this my first time here and had a blast. Here you can sign up for scuba diving and catamaran and boat excursions as well as swim with dolphins. This is where the boats dock and leave from and then just next door, the dolphins! <laughs> Such beautiful and intelligent animals. Swimming with dolphins is definitely a must try experience. Here I'm just showing you a few of the tricks they did with this group. Super entertaining. And also the water was very lively. We saw so many activities taking place from boats passing by to water sports. Of course, the dolphins are my favorite. <laughs> and then on the other side, we have another large pool, which is just as beautiful. It also features a swim up bar and has a snack bar. And again, here's another pool. This one has a volleyball net and a water slide. And then just beside that is the Kitties Splash Park. Talk about non-stop entertainment. And then this leads us to the beautiful beach. There are volleyball games right here in the evenings, which I'll show in a bit. So again, lots of beach activities and water sports. The beach also has lots of loungers and umbrellas, and these cabanas are reserved for the elite and VIP members that I mentioned earlier. As you can see, just miles of beachfront. This is a setup for guests that want to have dinner on the beach, and there's also a jerk hut on the beach that has really good jerk chicken. Like you guys saw earlier, the sunsets are absolutely beautiful and literally picture perfect. <laughs> Here you can see a few more of the non-motorized sports that are all included with your booking. And then here is the volleyball setup that I mentioned earlier. And then there is a beautiful terrace that's often used for weddings. Just wow. Let me just say the water in Ocho Rios is crystal clear. And then for the best water views at dinner, there's a restaurant located on the pier. On the other side of the pool, we have the gondola restaurant. I love the glass windows and the water feature that surrounds it. It's very beautiful at night. There's mom enjoying her mother-daughter girls trip. <laughs> and also this is the Italian restaurant. So it's definitely a beautiful atmosphere, but the food missed the mark for me and the servings were a little bit too small. Next up, we have Buccaneers Reef, which is the buffet. Again, beautiful atmosphere, but just typical buffet food, nothing special. And then upstairs, we have Momo Asian Restaurant, which was my favorite restaurant at the resort by a landslide. As soon as you enter, you feel like you're transported to an Asian country. From the statues to the lights, the interior design, just beautiful. So reservations are required for the hibachi tables. I tried and failed miserably, <laughs> but thankfully I still got a good view from my table and captured some of it here. The food and service were very good and the desserts especially were very different. Don't ask me what it was, but it was amazing. Directly across is a sushi bar which also offers paninis and pizza. And then here we have the coffee and dessert cafe. Divine, the end. <laughs> 
Next up, Noor Nightclub. Amazing atmosphere, beautiful lighting and ambiance, great music and energy. Definitely worth dragging my mom in here. <laughs> as you can see, everyone is having a great time. I'll insert a video of my mom dancing as well. Just kidding. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> Here we have the piano bar, which is definitely more of a relaxed, chill vibe. And on the lower level, there's a sports bar that features a full bar, pool table, and lots of lounging areas. And then also here we have a reggae dinner party for guests with live entertainment, and local craft vendors were able to sell their artwork and designs. Next up, the gaming lounge. I won't discuss how much time I spent in here, but I was definitely impressed. There are honestly too many games to name. There's a snack menu, drinks and ice cream, a video game room with popular games, all included with your booking. And like I said, I had a bit of fun in here, okay? <laughs> Mom too. So just beside that is the Playroom Kids Club for kids age 4 to 12. So it includes trained staff that supervise the children and it was honestly beyond impressive. There were additional games, a classroom, music room, Xbox room, kids gym and snack room. Oh my god, this mini stage in the music room is the cutest thing I've seen in a very long time. <laughs> the attention to detail here is amazing and it's honestly such a great place for kids if parents want to get away for a little bit, have a date night or go to the spa. So speaking of spa, <laughs> that's up next. Please let me know what you guys are thinking of Moon Palace so far in the comments. It's about to get better. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ah Spa. So it is dubbed the largest spa on the island and consists of a beauty salon for hair and nails, as a cutting edge hydrotherapy facility with cold and hot plunge pools, saunas and cold rooms, as well as treatment rooms for wraps, massages and facials. So I did the hydrotherapy treatment, the holistic massage and the seaweed wrap. And let me tell you, 10 out of 10, easily. Here are the locker rooms for your items when you're getting a treatment and after each session you are brought to a relaxation room and given refreshments. I didn't have my phone to record this but here you can see the tea and fruit infused water in the spa lobby. All in all, the aw spa is amazing. <laughs> And then just outside we have the fitness center with lots of machines and equipment. And then as many of you know, I'm an event planner so I definitely had to check out the ballroom area that's typically used for weddings. It's definitely spacious and there are also quite a bit of meeting and boarding rooms as well. And back to the lobby we have the gift shop. So it definitely was one of the nicer resort shops I've seen with very nice quality clothing and items. So the items here can be charged to your room and must be paid for during checkout. And to wrap up, here's a bit of the live performance in the lobby in the mornings. And you'll have to visit to hear the rest <laughs> and that's a wrap guys here are a few views of the resort at night just because also please stick around for the rating and pricing details coming up in just a second and now for my overall rating first up price for value five out of five so we booked the ocean view suite and stayed in the month of june we booked through orbits as at the time it had the lowest rate which was 570 dollars per night for two I didn't realize until I was at the resort that kids are completely free up to the age of 17. 
which to me is unbelievable based on all the amenities and entertainment from the surf simulator to the water slide to the gaming arcade and the playroom that's all included. Let's just say if you already have kids, you should already be packing your bags. <laughs> but honestly, it's a win-win because there are also so many options for adults as well. On the beach alone, there were paddle boards, kayaks, hobby cats, a giant water wheel thing, <laughs> so much more. There's daily volleyball and activities, many interactive reggae parties and beach dinners, a very lit nightclub. I mean, do I have to go on? Of course not, but I will. <laughs> Multiple bars and lounges and the option for paid excursions like a catamaran tour and swimming with dolphins, all without leaving the property literally amazing next up location five out of five so ocho rios is one of the most beautiful parts of jamaica and moon palace is located right in the center of the town and it's surrounded by many restaurants and entertainment as you guys saw from the video the beach was constantly buzzing and very lively and just 10 minutes away we have the famous duns river falls we have mystic mountain adventure park margaritaville and the larger dolphin cove park it's also about an hour and a half from the Sangsters International Airport, which is in Montego Bay. Food and Chef, three out of five. So overall, I found the food to be honestly disappointing. The only restaurant with a wow factor was Momo, the Asian restaurant that I showed you guys. But as I told you, it was a mad race to get the hibachi table, <laughs> which I think elevates the experience. The reservation lines supposedly opened at 9 a.m. I started calling from 8.59 and I still didn't get through. Design and cleanliness, 4 out of 5. So the resort is designed beautifully and I especially love the attention to detail in the lobby, restaurants and the spa. As you guys saw, I was also obsessed with the kids club and gaming lounge. But I did think the ocean view suites could have been updated a little bit and especially for the price point, I expected a balcony. But we were definitely pleased with housekeeping and the turn down service that was provided every day. Service and communication, 4 out of 5. So we were overall pleased with the service provided. Everyone we came in contact with was very nice and helpful from front desk to the concierge to the bartenders to the bellhops, everybody. <laughs> and the overall score, 21 out of 25. And would I go back? Definitely. It is the perfect vacation for families and kids. Just a reminder, kids are free up to 17. I repeat, 17. Okay, you got it. See ya. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. If you loved it, please share and turn on your post notifications. On to the next pursuit. Thank you so much for watching. Oh.